Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to English class. So previous class, I taught about the verbs, right? So uh, how many types of verbs are there here? Intransitive verb, intransitive verb, right? There are two types of verb. Transitive verb means which needed an object to complete its meaning is called transitive verb. So intransitive verb means which doesn't need the help of the uh, object is called intransitive verb. So for example, I explain one of the examples today. Uh, we play. If I write we play, can you understand what I play? So here the verb compulsory needed object, right? So the verb which needed object is called transitive verb. So the verb which doesn't need an object is called intransitive verb. Okay. Yesterday I explained about these two. So today we will complete the exercise. Okay. So look at here page number forty six in your workbook. Page number forty six. Page number forty six. Have you seen? Yes. So say whether the uh, verb in the following are uh, transitive or intransitive. Seventh page. Once observe the seventh page. I 
wrote a letter to my father. For example, if I read, I wrote. Okay, this is the verb. Can you understand what I wrote? Can you understand? I wrote. I said I wrote. Can you understand? No, there is no meaning. Just I wrote. What I wrote? A letter. So here yeah, the verb needed an object here. Okay. So what is the object? A letter. I wrote a letter. So after adding the object, we can clearly understand that yes, I have written a letter. Okay. Okay. So such verbs are called transitive verbs. Here yeah, this verb needed object to complete its meaning. Right. So the verb which needed object to complete its meaning is called transitive verb. Transitive verb. Okay. Next one. I know the little man. I know the little man. I know the little man. Okay. I know. So I said I know. What I know here? What I know here? So it is not giving the full meaning. So what I know, I know the little man. It needed an object. So the verb is called transitive verb, not interactive verb. This is transitive verb. Okay, transitive verb. The changes. Time changes all things. Time changes. Time changes all things. Time changes all things. So here changes is a verb. Time changes. What time changes here? So without object, we can't understand what changes here. So here it needed object. The verb which needed object is called transitive verb. Transitive verb. Okay. Okay. Next word. The dog ran after me. Shall I write? Okay, I'll explain grammar later after completion of these sentences. Okay, so first write these sentences. The dog ran after me. The dog ran after me. The dog ran. We can understand here full meaning. The dog is running. Okay. No need to add any object here. After me, it's talking about the adverb. Okay. So it is giving the extra information, but it doesn't need to complete its meaning. So the dog ran means here it is interactive verb. Interactive verb. Okay. Next one. The fire burns dimly. The fire burns dimly. The fire burns dimly. Here yeah, burns. The fire burns. It is giving the full meaning of the sentence. The fire burns. As you can understand. No need to add any object here. This is the adverb. Okay. It is giving the extra information about the verb, but it is not a, we can't call it is the object. Okay. So without any object also, the verb is giving the full meaning. Such verbs are called interactive verb. Okay. Next sentence. The man delivered the goods. The man 
delivered the goods the man delivered the goods so look at here the man delivered so here up to here can you understand what he delivered we can't understand so here compulsory we need an object so which can fulfill the verb okay the man delivered the goods so here the verb needed an object to complete its meaning so it is called transitive verb okay delivered is the transitive verb the word is transitive verb next the child is sleeping the child is sleeping now here what is the verb sleeping is a verb so here we do not have any object so what is this in transitive verb Transitive, transitive verb. Transitive verb. Next, bird fly in the air. Birds. Bird fly in the air. Bird fly in the air. What is this? Fly. Birds fly means we can understand the birds are flying. Here we needed an object. No, it doesn't need. We do not need any object to complete its meaning. Birds fly means we can understand that. So such words are called intransitive verbs. Okay, right. Okay. After completion of the workbook, everyone open your grammar book now. Okay. Open your grammar book, everyone. Make it fast. Over. Okay. Page number nineteen in your grammar book. Now. Open your grammar book. Page number nineteen. Make it fast. Okay, I'm editing this. So in page number nineteen, also we have four forms. Okay. So we all know that what is a verb? Verb is an action word, right? So this verb form, verb forms, we have five types here. Okay, I will write five types of verb forms. First, you note down this, then you by heart. Okay. So the first form is root form. We can call verb root form.
word which is here first one root form we can call root form or present form okay page number 19 first one root form uh, simple present form that is we got v1 simple present also okay simple present or infinite we can call infinite a uh, simple present or root form so that is called v1 word okay so what is v2 form v2 means simple past tense okay next past participle means v3 form next yes ending verb so yes ending verbs are called v4 okay and ing ending forms are called v5 verb form okay one uh, grammar book page number 19 okay first word what is the first word is say so this is a root form root form we can call root form so what is the past participle past form of the play Play by adding ed. So the root form we add only ed. Okay. The past participle also we should add ed. Okay. Play. Okay. Next yes ending form. Yes ending form is here. Play. Just we have to add this. Play. What is v five? Play means we should add ed form. Okay. Play. Did you understand? Next, dance. Now tell me what is the past form? Dance. Past participle form also dance. 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 Dancing. Okay. Next word, right, right. What is the past form? Here we should not add ed to the present form. Okay, just we have to change the form. Right, goes. Past participle form is written. Okay. Next, what is the s ending form? Right. Right, writing. Okay, writing. Next, sing. So, what is the past form? Sang. Past participle form sang. Okay, next thing is sung. Next, in form, singing, singing. Okay. Next, drink. Drink. Past form, simple past, drink. Drink and drink. Drinking, drinking. Okay, right first. Next, break. Sixth word. Root form is break. What is the past form? Broke. Past participle form? Broken. Yeah, yes, in English, break, breaking. Okay, next, bring. Seventh go, bring. Here, brush, brush. Bring, bring in. Okay. Next word. Buy, buy, bought. Don't be confused. It's brought and bought. Okay. If we write bring, then we write brought. If we write buy, 
we write bar test. Okay, or here bar test. By by okay by okay so this is this is the box and the main box i will explain in the next class hope you understand today's class i'm going to convert here okay first you should learn these go forms okay these five types of go forms you have to learn okay thank you